CHA goaltender of the week, Lauren Bailey, and a three-time CHA goaltender of the week this season, for that matter, uh, joining us on Women's Hockey Weekly. Uh, Bale's uh, hard to say anything negative about the way this past weekend ended. Uh, the team wins a big series against a tough conference opponent, and uh, in the process, uh, you didn't allow a single five-on-five -five goal the whole way. A nice feather in your cap, personally. Uh, just uh, thoughts about the past series. Um, yeah, so we knew that we had to win both games to come in first going into Christmas break, so that was kind of my focus, and I think the rest of the teams just try to get first seed going into Christmas, and we all worked hard and played as a team, so it was great. Does it seem like the last couple of series the defense has been showing even more poise and control of games than it normally has? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we have Welsh and G out right now, so that definitely hurts the defense, but the players that are on the ice are doing amazing. Yeah, and that's, to your point, you know, it's one of those things where I guess, you know, you're all kind of on your toes because in the back of your heads, you know you have to be. And it's worked out really well. And the team, uh, uh, I mean, this just has to be a tremendous boost of confidence for you guys going into uh, the last series. Yeah, we're, we're excited for Minnesota. It'll definitely be a test, but I think it'll be fun. Uh, one other thing that uh, the team was able to have some fun with this past weekend, and I know the seniors are very proud of this, uh, the teddy bear toss was an amazing success uh, in the Friday night game. Still waiting on the final official numbers, but uh, the bottom line is it was a fabulous turnout. Lots of stuffed animals collected for Autism Society of Pittsburgh. Uh, how do you feel about the way that whole thing went down? Yeah, so it's been a tradition since I've been here. It's it's an awesome atmosphere. It brings a lot of fans out. It's for a good cause. So uh, I hope after I leave they keep doing it because it's, it's fun and it's good for me. And the players seem to do a really good job, like you said, kind of passing the torch to each group year after year. So uh, it, it's something that's morphed into a really nice tradition here. Uh, again, this is your uh, your third weekly award from CHA this season, uh, your third Goalie of the Week award. So, I mean, you're settling into a nice little rhythm here, coming off the good series. What do you think you've been doing particularly well in goal recently? Um... It um, starts with practice, you know, I got to give it 100% in practice and then that kind of translates into the game and just communicating with my defense. They, they do their job, which makes my job easier. And you mentioned Minnesota, uh, which is, it's an interesting opponent to close the fall term on because, you know, in, in recent years, this team is used to being the favorite. This team is used to being the one with a target on its back. This team has been the, the hunted, if you will. Now, you're the hunter. You're going up against the consensus number two team in the country. Is it kind of, I don't want to say fun, but I mean, does, does the team like kind of embracing the underdog role a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's something to work for. And um, I, I enjoy being the underdog and kind of taking it away from someone else. So it's fun. At the risk of sounding cliche, what, what do you think makes Minnesota such a tough team to play against? Um, I don't know. They... They have good players, they're very skilled working as a team, but I think our team can do that as well, and I think they do, so I think it'll be a good game. And uh, it'll be 8.07 Eastern Time uh, this Friday and 2.07 Eastern Time this Saturday. The Colonials at uh, number two Minnesota, the final test of the fall term before, uh, before we all go home for an extended holiday break. Uh, just uh, Team goals uh, before we go uh, the rest of the way. Um, you know, it, it's been a, a challenging first half of the season, obviously, but uh, it, it, is the team satisfied coming off its last series, knowing that it's played well in conference and the goals of winning the conference and going to the tournament are still within hailing distance? Yeah, I think we're satisfied, but I also think we have a lot of stuff we can improve on, and if we keep doing that, I think we have a great chance for CHA and hopefully NCAA. Uh, we're going to be keeping an eye on her. Maybe she can wrap up, wrap, rack up a few more CHA Goalie of the Week awards. Maybe I can untie my tongue in the process before we touch down in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Again, it is the Colonials, and it is number two Minnesota. A very interesting non-conference test for a team coming off a very, uh, a very strong series uh, against a conference rival. Lauren Bailey, thank you for your time. Thank you.